What's up, Capstone family? This is Ed Drummond coming at you on this Friday, the 4th of June. Uh, I am excited to go into another weekend. This is an amazingly busy week here at Capstone. Uh, weather's hotter. Things are starting to get pretty hot. Uh, on the tenant side, obviously, those of you who have recently rented out properties recognize that, uh, you know, rents have just gone crazy, gone through the roof. Um, that does, however, bring up a good point. And I wanted to bring it up in this video really quickly. Um, with tenants paying more, expectations of theirs is also higher. So, you know, some of the things that may have been okay in the past uh, by way of maybe, hey, we're not gonna take care of this just yet, we're gonna hold off. Now's the time when you're probably gonna get pushback from the capstone team to make those corrections, to fix these items, because tenants, as they're paying more, they're not feeling the value as much as they were. I mean, some properties, like I have one that we just rented out. Literally, we had it rented for $1,350 as of last year. It was the first year we rented it. This year, we're getting $1,700. It took a couple of days to rent it, right? And just crazy. And that same tenant, they moved out, but now this is a whole new batch of tenants that are coming in who's now paying $1,700, almost $400 more than we were getting before. I mean, that's crazy. Those numbers are amazing from an investment standpoint, but now I know as an investor, I've got to spend that money to make sure that that tenant is, you know, is being taken care of and that they stay. I think more than anything, um, we're going to see in, over the next couple of years, we're going to see a lot of tenants opting to try to get out and buy, right? Right now, there's nothing for them to buy. But as that changes, we're going to see a lot more in turnover. And the more we can do to keep that tenant in place, the better. Because again, you know, you, tenants are feeling the pinch right now. And the more we can do to ensure that they stay in your home and that they, they want to stay in your home, the better. Um, so just a heads up there. Um, I also wanted to connect on another front. Um, my wife does mortgages, as most of you know. Um, she's with a top team here in the Valley. And, you know, they are arguably, like that last year, they were number three in uh, Arizona for production, her, her team. And one thing that she's made available to us is she does this thing called Mortgage Coach. And I don't know if you've, if you've experienced it before with Mortgage Coach, but I, I am basically, uh, she's given me the green light to say, if, if you are at all interested in interest rates and how that looks in different types of programs, like options, right? You can contact her. I'll, we'll set you up, get you her contact information. She will basically run you through this mortgage coach program for free, get you access to it. Of course, she's going to try to earn your business, but she's not going to expect it. So realistically, she just said, hey, Ed, if you have clients that want to use it, she'll plug all the information in. You'll get a chance to meet her, uh, like or at least on the phone, and she'll walk you through the process to see what options make the most sense for you. If you're contemplating refinancing your property versus selling it versus maybe different types of programs that you could qualify for, for, for you know maybe a cash out refi or something, what it does is it sets all of those scenarios up side by side. So you can see it all in one snapshot. Uh, in addition, there's also you know options that she can put in there that says, okay, let's say you wanted to do a principal reduction on your property, add another, call it you know 100 bucks a month to that, how much faster are you gonna pay that off and how much are you gonna save in the interest that you would have paid? So all of those things then you can see in one page. And you know, for those of you that call me asking about numbers and stuff, like you know, I'm fumbling around on, on bankrate.com, looking at all these calculators, coming up with these. This thing is just an amazing, amazing tool. Um, I love it when she puts one of our properties through it because then I can see it all and it like spells it out for me. And most recently, uh, she helped my mom with the property that she's looking at in, in California and saying, hey, if we we're to do this, what does this look like and what does this look like? She can, her team can help in California. She personally can't, but she can still run you through the mortgage coach program and then put you in touch with somebody that can help. So, I mean, I, again, she's doing that on behalf of us for all of our clients um, because, again, it's another way for her just to stay in touch. And honestly, like, it's so helpful that, you know, I, I was just like, please, let me, let me do this. And she said, she said yes. So I was kind of excited about that. Um, in addition, uh, next point, Capstone Contributes is, you know, on in full effect for this year. And Capstone Contributes is when, when we do a sale from a transaction, 
it's our way at Capstone of giving back to the community, right? We want to be able to give back, but not just give back to, you know, one charity over here, one charity over here. Let's do it as a collective. Let's do it as a group, as a Capstone family. Um, and you are invited this year. We are opening it up to make sure that you know you're invited this year. It will be in November. I'll have the date soon enough, but we're going to make this one really, really, really special. And I've gotten some great feedback from some of our clients. Vicki, thank you so much. Um, others as well. I totally appreciate what you guys are doing. The last couple of years of Capstone Contributes, the first year was kind of awkward uh, because we didn't know what we were doing. Uh, but it was great. And we raised, you know, we made over 6,000 bags for homeless kids here in the Valley that need food when they don't, you know, when, when, when they go home from school, they don't have food sometimes. So these bags give them a positive message. Um, you know, we fill out the bags with positive messaging. Um, this year, uh, well, let's see, last year we did uh, 10,000 bags, we raised over $16,000 with dollars with the help of our Capstone family. That includes all our vendors, that includes you uh, as our clients and friends, and we appreciate that. This year, we're not sure what the goal, financial goal is going to be, but one of our goals for this year is really to just create more awareness around this, the, the cycle of homelessness within help and to connect with you. So this year, instead of me being the person who talks a bunch, <laughs> like as, as much as you know, you might think I, I, I like it, I, I'd rather not. I'd rather be behind the scenes and just kind of getting things done and coming up with ideas is how we're going to do this, this, or this, right? Like I love that part of it. Um, we're going to have our vendors, our friends, our, our Capstone teammates here in the office. Every one of them will have a chance to connect with you. And really, so we get to get to know you one-on-one. -on -one, you'll get to know who's here in the office and really get to know your Capstone family as we want to get to know you as well. Um, so I encourage you, if you're able to make the trip out to you know Phoenix in November, um, I'll be posting this stuff regularly moving forward. So you have an idea of not only what we do, but hey, how much we're impacting. Um, because of your help, like last year, we were the Homeless Engagement Lift Partnership number one sponsor for the year. We, we generated, with that 10,000 bags and that $16,000, we literally uh, filled enough bags to, 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 for their goal for an entire month. So, you know, thank you. This year, we want to exceed that. We've got a lot of, like I mentioned, a lot of Capstone uh, family members that you know, whether there are vendors or whatnot that are going to support it again this year. We're going to bring those people out because I'd love for them to get a chance to meet you as well and for you to get a chance to meet them and know exactly, you know, who's working on your houses and, you know, and, and who can, can help you out in the future, whether it be on a house we're managing or, or something else, right? Because again, uh, relationships are what makes this uh, such an amazing thing. Um, I appreciate you. I hope you have an amazing weekend. Um, definitely stay cool out there if you're here in the Phoenix area. And uh, I look forward to connecting with you again next week. Thanks.